Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing five players that made us fall in love with the beautiful game of football. Nice. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Right, let's kick things off then. For me, my first number five is Robbie Keane as a Spurs fan Big growing world. up. Um, I think the celebration sort of hooked me in. I was going to talk to you about that, actually. Um, so my, my little brother, when he was um, a lot older than him, eight years older, when he was like under sevens, under eights football, yeah. when he used to score, he used to do a little do the roll pole Robbie in the Keane and do that. Yeah. Shots, <laughs> mate. He has a banging celebration. So yeah, I remember that celebration. Yeah, uh, yeah and I think there's just certain things, obviously as a youngster, like there was a few players that, I sort of like fell in love with, but yeah, Robbie Keane was probably one of my, the first ones. Um, there was a goal he scored against Blackburn. I think it was a little flick over one of the defenders and another flick and then tucked in past Brad Fiedel. Uh Absolutely magnificent goal. Yeah. One of my, uh, played for Liverpool as well, didn't he? He did. And Leeds played, and in Milan, first. I think, yeah, nice. uh, yeah. Class player, still yeah, a club legend. Yeah, um, yeah. My number five. Like it. Who's yours? My number five is Lee Trundle. Lee yeah. Trundle. You remember Lee Trundle? Yeah, I do. Lee Trundle. Do you not remember when he was at Swansea and he used to do the maddest thing? Yeah, he's, he used to like, be like quite big, isn't he? Yeah, and he yeah. used to like his. He used to do things like fl I remember yeah. like, on Soccer AM. He yeah, used to yeah, be on yeah. the Skills of the Week every yeah. week. He's okay, literally that's was a big a show. Yeah, that's a big yeah. I, just, I didn't want to go all Liverpool players. I thought Lee Trundle. Oh, I, used to, I used to love watching him. Like love like things he could do. And Did like, he play for yeah. like Bradford and stuff for a while as well. Yeah, I remember a lot in the lower lower league. I mainly remember at Swansea, but um, yeah, he was absolute class. Some of the things he could do. He was like the the lower league like. Yeah, he was like the mess. A Kocha, of, wouldn't he? Like, oh, literally, yeah, like, JJ Kocha, mate. He, but he never got a chance in a high league. He just kind of stayed down there, didn't he? But yeah, yeah. He, was, he was class. So uh, yeah, I used to love watching no, him. I like that. I like that. Trundle, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, my number four is Adriano. Do you uh, remember him? In, in, in the Milan Milan striker. Yeah, 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 nice. Class, it reminds mate. me of uh, Pez. Yeah. No, I don't know what year it was. Absolutely was class. Um, he used to be a big fan of Inter Milan back in the day. Him and Obafetti Martins up to, up top together. Yeah, yeah, he I'm was an absolute pen, beast, mate. Jokes, yeah. I think what, he's got to go down as one of the biggest players to not reach their potential. Because there's, I think they did a documentary on him. To be fair, um, I think he had like family issues, like his dad died or something in like a gang war, and then he joined a gang and stuff. And I don't know too much about it, but yeah, mm. it it just went all downhill for him. But he yeah, was unreal, he, mate. Like, didn't he like retire really early? Yeah, because oh, of that. Old. Oh really? I think he was like twenty four or something. Oh shit! It was mad madness. But yeah, he was top tier, and I think if obviously if none of that happened, he could have gone on to be one of the best mm. but yeah, yeah i loved him mate he was an absolute beast love that who's your number four forgot great <laughs> obviously oh how good forget? memories uh this one's a bit later in my life it wasn't when i was a kid it that's was fine was mate. Member, actually that's um fine. made me fall love back in football should we say back in love with football uh and this is suarez okay. when he came to liverpool uh i've never seen in flesh anyone in in Liverpool show as good as him. Like yeah. things he could do with football was mental. Like the amount of people he could nutmeg. He'd yeah. just nutmeg one and go and nutmeg another. Are you, are you referring to that season where he just was Yeah, that, class? That, that season, that f well, it was the second season, first full season where he was got 30 Would you goals, say for that season he was the best in the world? Yeah. He got robbed. He got robbed the Ballon d'Or. Yeah. They gave it to Messi or Ronaldo. I can't remember who it was. He outscored them both. Yeah, I mean, I think that's happened. Or, no, no, times. it wasn't that year. It was the first year at Barca. He he went even on a madder one and scored so many goals. He outscored yeah. both of them and they still got it. He got yeah. absolutely robbed. It's an absolute travesty that he didn't it's get it. It's the same with everything though, isn't it? Yeah, it was a joke, yeah. That's just when they just gave it to them every year. It was just, just yeah. a foregone uh, for conclusion. But yeah, some of the things you could do with the ball. Like, I'll never forget, I went to a game where uh, we beat Arsenal 5-1. Uh, big Mike Skirtle, remember him? Yeah. He scored two headers. <laughs> and I think we were like 4-0 up after like 20, 20, 25 minutes. It was madness. And I just, I'll never forget, it, it didn't go in. I think it, we were like 3-0 up at the time. But there was a corner and it come out. And what he was doing on the edge of the box, I don't know. He wasn't just on the edge of the box. He was quite a way off the edge of the box. And it comes to him and he's just hit this like scissor, like half volley yeah. first time. And it's just rocketed and it's hit the bar. Honestly, it would have been one of the best goals I've ever seen. Like He was just pure class. And yeah, that was class. The, I, st I still remember remember that goal games on his own. where it come over and he took some dirty touch took it round the keeper and just tucked it in but it was like oh, oh just the Newcastle one that? when he took it on his shoulder yeah the one when I think so. it was he pinged. takes like yeah he takes it yeah, right yeah, down yeah, and yeah. it takes oh, a little touch round yeah. the keeper pucks it Trent in Trent pings like, it oh, from halfway line was it Trent? Trent? yeah I think it was Trent his first touch 
was his first touch was yeah, his shoulder. Was I think unreal, unreal, that was unreal. Like, unreal. Do you remember all the goals he scored against Norwich? Yeah, I remember a few of his goals. Like, maybe no, being the ones class. against Norwich, like he used to be um, unbelievable. Like yeah. he he could win games on his own. Yeah, was, he was class. Like the, the, the travesty that we didn't win the league for him. Basically, he was unbelievable. So yeah, yeah. Suarez is my I like that. I, like well, that. I feel bad for putting him that low. You know now. That's <laughs> right, man. It's all right. Yeah, but it's a top five. There's there's plenty of players that you could choose. For me, number three. Ronaldinho, Ooh. absolute guess like, what magician. He's my number three. Is he? <laughs> yeah. That's jokes. That's <laughs> Great magic. Yeah, absolute class. Absolute magician on the ball, mate. Yeah, and the things he could do. Yeah, I, like, I think when he was at Barca, when he, he was at Barca with Messi, yeah, Messi broke even him. at AC, he was still sick. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Barca's probably his prime. But and the, um, the oh, I never forget the goal against England where he lobbed. Yeah, Seaman. He was young then, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Absolute free kick. Right Broke all our hearts. Like, I remember yeah. I was at school watching that in the school hall. Yeah. I mean, do you remember the goal he scores against Chelsea as well? He's basically stood oh, still. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's like, foot's like, swipping. He's like, right, topo. Yeah. Right the corner, that was a joke. Class, yeah, that was All the Chelsea players are like, what's just happened? <laughs> yeah, um, it was funny. Just, he was unreal. just a joy to watch. I, do you know what? I feel like he's one of the most underrated players yeah, you're ever. True. It's because he didn't hit the numbers that Messi and Ronaldo hit because he wasn't that type of player. Yeah, but he was, a, more he was of a, attacking midfielder, no, really. He was more of a creator and he was more like yeah. a showboat, but he would literally still have the end class, product. He'd like it, so good. But yeah, he didn't hit those crazy numbers. Magic. Some of the stuff I watched him do, yeah. he was that player for me where I was like, mm. this guy's just insane. Yeah, he was like, um, so good. Loved him, mate. Loved watching Loved him, him yeah. yeah. Top talent. So, yeah, well, that's your number three as well. Then. <laughs> yeah, that's my number three. Uh, well, do you want to give me your number two then? Yeah, so my number two has got with Gerard. Um, yeah. You probably expected it to be one, were you? Uh, to be fair, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, I did. One might be a little short. So, um, yeah, Gerard, like, obviously, like, absolute legend um, for Liverpool, obviously, unbelievable, could do everything. Um, yeah. Literally carried us for so long. Um, that Champions League in 05 remember me like, like we ha- have that forever and there's he, a few of the games that he Gerard did they grabbed the, it by the ball West Ham FA yeah. Cup final yeah. with that goal last minute like some of his long range goals under, screamers yeah, as well un, mate yeah. his screamers under pressure were just unbelievable like, yeah. it's just so sad that he didn't play in his prime in a better, better team, team yeah. if he played in our team of a couple of years ago with like Salah and all, or even like with Suarez when because he played with Suarez but his legs yeah. are gone if he'd played with Suarez two years before I mean, we it's fair won, play. We would have won the title. And, like, uh, it's just a shame for him. Chelsea man. wanted him. United wanted him. Mm. And like, he's stuck around. Yeah. Um, I mean, he still won stuff. But yeah. yeah it's it, not that he didn't win. But it's I, just, I, I, I personally rate Gerard really highly. Yeah. I think Opposition fans class, always but. have. When, have when it's a debate between the title, Lampard I mean. and Skulls, like, it annoys me. Because for me, it's Gerard all day long. Exactly. Ger- Gerard all round, 100%. Is it he played, he played, he played he more played in a crap team players. compared to them. Yeah, exactly. Teams with these, like, Chelsea spending all that Lampard money. Lampard had like, the, the ability to brilliant. arrive on the edge of the box yeah. and, and score goals from there. I'm not taking it away from either of them too. They're, they're, they're great players. Yeah. For me, Gerrard's Gerard top had a tier, lot, mate. Didn't he? Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, unbelievable. I mean, if I was an, a Spurs fan, he would probably be a bit higher on my list as yeah. a, for a top five because I, okay. yeah, I really rate yeah. Gerrard. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I'm interested see to see who your number one is then. Yeah. Uh, my number two is similar to like a Suarez made me sort of fall back in love. Gareth Bell. Gareth Bell, yeah, solid. Hit the ground, not running. <laughs> Had a real slow start. Yeah. Obviously, come over from Southampton as a youngster. I know he played at left back for Southampton. Did he start left back for you? Or did yeah, he so there was, it was a you? funny... I haven't looked into it, but there's a funny record that I think every game he played for like the first 17 games or something we lost um, wow. something crazy like we had a really bad record with him in, in the team and a lot of Spurs fans were like get him out like, what's happening and I'm pretty sure it was Harry that gave him the opportunity to push a bit further forward and yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 and then the rest is history, really. Absolute class, like similar to like a Gerard, like in the sense of the important goals. That mm. hat trick he scored against Inter Milan, absolute madness, man. I never forget that one where he ran off the pitch. I mean, that was for Real Madrid, yeah. but yeah. Oh, was that for Real Madrid? Yeah, it was oh, against okay. Barcelona. Oh, that's for Ch- in, in, in the El Clasico. Oh, well, yeah. and that's just, uh, another like debate for it that he's so underappreciated by Real Madrid fans for some of the stuff yeah, he does. He why. won them two Champions Leagues basically. Yeah, but they're weirdos, aren't they? Yeah, it's just they're mad. Weirdos. Like he's such a good player. And like we were saying in, in that underrated, overrated about Neymar, like I think Gareth Bell's up there. Mm. I think he like, in my eyes scored against us in Champions League final. Yeah, like, so, oh mate. He's against no keeper those madness carries. though. What the overhead? Yeah. That no, was I'm joking. Insane, it's class. No, I'm joking mate. it's class. That I'm joking. Was insane. I'm joking. Um we were in the pub, weren't we? And I was like, that was one of the best goals I've seen. We were in the pub? We were at MK11. For Champions League final? Yeah. What year was that? I don't know. I don't know what I did yesterday, mate. No, I'm not, um, I'm not but yeah, I, honestly, some of the stuff he did, like the goals he scored, there was one goal I was remember, so I'm pretty sure it was against West Ham's own last minute. He got taken out. Do you remember when Rooney got taken out at the Newcastle and then gets up and scores an absolute swanker? 
volley mm. that is one of his most famous goals. Yeah. Bell did a similar thing at Real Madrid, uh, Real Madrid against West Ham. He got took out by Noble or something. Complains to the ref and he's like, didn't get it. So he gets up. Two seconds later, gets the ball. One touch, bop, straight in top bins. Yeah. Mate. Absolute Unreal. beast. Yeah. Well Gareth Bell, mate, loved him. Love Still that. love him. And love I'm glad that. he had like a little swan song coming back. Yeah. Uh, go on, energy number one. I'm intrigued. Man, what? You got no ideas, no? I've, do you know what? Go on, who, go on. Great, see if you can get it. Dalglish? Nope. Never watched him, mate. Yeah. Um, Harry Kane. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got no idea? <laughs> no, nah, I don't think I have. Uh, Michael Owen. Oh, okay. So, yeah, just for okay. yeah, I, I was about, I think I was about 10 when mm. I was like, because I, I, when I was probably getting into football, maybe a little bit older, about 11, 12. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he was just unbelievable. He'd obviously break onto the scene. And remember the FA Cup final where he basically, we were 1-0 down to Arsenal at half-time. Yeah. And he basically just went on a mad one and scored them two goals where he just ran through. I mean, he like, was so good. In that orange kit. Uh, when uh, he was yeah, young. Like, like when he burst on at 18, it was unbelievable. A little bit like a Deli Alley, but not, shame a, that, not as bad of a decline. Yeah, shame that injuries just fucked him. Like his hamstring just killed him. But uh, yeah, like he literally just, I just loved watching him. Like he was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, like as a 17 year old, those, that, remember that goal against Argentina in the World Cup? Was it World Cup? Or you, what was it? Well, I remember when we spunked on um, was it, was it, was Germany 5 1. Yeah, yeah, with him, um, Heskey, him and Heskey yeah. dominating. Um, um, but yeah, I'm sure it was was it against Argentina in the World Cup I think so like, remember that goal I'm talking about that? yeah I think he so ran, that was a mad uh, yeah. yeah he was just unbelievable yeah, it was like, madness just joy to watch um, um, it's a shame you wonder what he would have done in his career if he didn't have those injuries he would have been one, one, of, the, one of the greatest here's a question for you how mm. did the Liverpool fan base um, feel about him going to United so it's one of them where because uh, I know there's a, a lot, gap in between yeah a lot of a lot of Liverpool fans obviously are against it but apparently he wanted to come back to us at the time he didn't want him but we didn't want him. We were looking at other... We, it's not what we needed at the time. Yeah. So he kind of didn't have another choice, really. It was United or like... That's fair enough. Because um, he went Real Madrid, didn't he, after you? Yeah, well, he left Real Madrid to and us, went, which is fine. Then went when New was he at Newcastle? Newcastle yeah, and then Newcastle. He went so, like, I, I I, kind of... I don't hold anything against him. Like, he's not my biggest club legend or anything, but I don't, yeah. I'm, I'm okay with him. Like, I think as a pundit, he waffles a lot, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. You don't, know if you, you don't know if you can believe what he says, because some of the stories he says don't make sense. A bit boring um, sometimes. I find yeah, a bit like, he's, oh, just, he's, he's just he's talking, talking again. to the obvious, doesn't he? But yeah, as yeah. a player, like, unbelievable. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's a yeah, good time frame. Well, yeah, my number one, uh, Spurs legend, uh, made me fall in love with football. I was a defender, looked up to him. Oh, I know who this is. Big Ledley King. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, sure. Absolute beast. Uh, take away his knee injury problems, similar like that, like hampered his career. I generally believe that if he never had them bad knee injuries, he would have been one of the best in the world. He didn't um, train, did he? No. He, he'd rock up. He'd rock up on a Saturday, perform week in, week out. What was the injury? Do you know? His whole knee was completely shattered, mate. He had like he, he had to have like really bad injections like every game. Wow. Um, never trained. He did a bit of gym work and stuff, but... Absolute beast, mate. There was a, there was a time, I think I'm pretty sure it was against Chelsea, and it was Aaron Robin. He had about ten meters on him, like literally a ten meter head start. And then by the time they were in the box, K- uh, Kings got in, made a tackle. Try and look it up one time, mate. Mm. Absolutely magnificent defending. He was yeah. top tier. I'm pr- pretty sure one of his first games for England, we played against France. Um, and I remember Terry Henry being like, hey, "That was the best defensive performance I've ever had against me." Mm. He absolutely marked him out of the game. It's one of them for me because we were obviously a bit. How old were we when he was playing? Well, we, he was set Spurs his whole career, but so he started young. Him and it was him and Crouchy, I think, like uh, early we like, doors. What? Probably around the same like time as Owen, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it would, it would have been. Similar. So I can't, as, as a Liverpool fan, I can't really remember too much of Ledley King. But from what you say to me, like oh, he's top, a beast, mate. Yeah, yeah so, um, club legend. He's still, he's still one of our, he's still one of Spurs' um, ambassadors. Mm. Um, big Dawson's back. Uh, that partnership for me, mm. K- uh, King and Dawson. Obviously, Dawson come a bit later, but mm. it was like Anthony Gardner and like Gareth Docket, uh, uh, Gareth Docket, I think it was. Um, Ledley King, mate, yeah, absolute beast. Spurs legend, yeah, made me fall in love with the the, the defensive side of the game as well. Mm, yeah, um, he's been a about, yeah. Yeah, love yeah, him. Yeah. Nice, mate. I've got a t-shirt with, there's only one king, Ledley. <laughs> love it, mate. <laughs> love um, that. Yeah. Nice. You've had your, we've had it. Wrap You've it up. It, yeah, <laughs> <that's> it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what to do, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. See you, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>